What's up guys, this is Dustin and Pat. We're here today with the all new Jaime. We're gonna talk about uh, kind of the differences between the 2022 to the 2023 version. Yeah, we're getting some of the design change, kind of why they did it. Is the new version right for you? Maybe pick up an old version that you have on the shelves or kind of hop to a different model in the Duotone line. Couple new key features, guys. Uh, right off the bat, is going to be the cantered fins. Um, they've moved, they've adjusted them 10 degrees, kind of to face the outside of the rails. Um, it's going to, it's first impression, super, super grippy, like crazy upwind drive. I noticed. Yeah, no, it seemed really gripped up on the water when we first got it, compared to last year's model. Uh, it's kind of tracked a lot harder if. You're kind of used to kind of slipping out a little bit, or you, I rode the Ihami last year, I know you did too with a little bit smaller fins. Right. So you could kind of slide the fins out a little bit easier, slide the rail out. Um, on the new version, I definitely, with the five centimeter fins that come on the board, it's like riding on rails. The yep. board is locked in. It is one of probably the hardest edging boards yep. I've ridden in a while. For sure, hands down. Super poppy, explosive jumps. Um, yeah, you're, you're gonna grip it and rip it for sure. Yeah, and then the next big change that they did for this year is kind of make the whole board almost a massive single concave, I guess is the best way to describe it. Yep. They took the rails on the outside of the board, so right along the outside here, and those are also canted down as well, so they kind of scoop the water, making a basically a massive single concave that yep. acts as almost a second set of fins for you. Yep, it's, uh, yeah really grippy yeah and that angle kind of continues all the way down the rail right to about where the your foot insert not foot inserts but where your straps would start on the board so you have the whole grip kind of all the way to where your feet would stand and then the rail flattens back out between your feet so still allows her a little bit of forgiveness in landing but i definitely think that this is going to be a little less forgiving for like landing blind and stuff like that if you're not if you don't land perfect i think it is going to kind of throw you off a, throw you off a little yep. bit you might catch an edge a little bit easier so that's kind of where i think the older model kind of comes in with some forgiveness yep. where you don't have to have a perfect landing to make it work for you so i definitely think that they stepped behind me up a notch for this year and kind of made it a bigger gap between the high main select and the line yep definitely the the new high is going to be more for that intermediate too advanced, I'd say. Um, whereas like the 2022, you could kind of just blend everybody into it. Um, you know, saying as you were, I think that more advanced people will go to this board and a lot of more, a lot more people are kind of going to get into the select range. Yeah, I think that intermediate to begin, intermediate to um, advanced beginner rider, it's kind of a weird saying, but yep. I think you're going to see a lot more of those people gravitate towards the select this year being that more traditional, a little bit less grip tracky shape. Yeah, for sure. Um, I like both. They both have their place in the lineup. I think that they just made the high means kind of the ultimate big air twin tip. It is, I think yep. it sets the bar for what an ultimate big air kite should be and is going after. That's what they designed it for. That's the riders they designed it for. So they really kind of separated it. Yep. This to um, kind of really make a distinct difference in that lineup this year versus having a, kind of a lot more crossover. Yep. All right, so for 2023, they are keeping with the two versions of the Jaime lineup. They are gonna have the traditional layup, wood fiberglass, and the SLS lineup. Um, carbon. With their carbon layup. Yeah. yeah, no matter what, you're gonna get a little bit different in flex with the two different models. The wood's gonna be a little bit softer, carbon's gonna be a little bit stiffer, and also kind of a weight reduction as well. So a little bit lighter weight, a little bit higher performance in the SLS version. Uh, more or less, I feel like the feel is still there of the Jaime as far as the pop goes. Yep. It's just a lot more gripped up than the old version. So you're gonna have a lot more edge control than right. you did in years past. Yep. yep. Which benefit pro and con this depending on what kind of riding you're doing, what you're looking for. If you're looking to kind of jump as high as you possibly can and just send big jumps, land fast, the new one, awesome for it. If you like that looser feel, it's, you might be looking more towards the select this year. Or if you can find a 2022 closeout high me, I think we still have some left in stock. Yep. That'd be a good option for you as well. If you like the old traditional high me, they did move it to kind of the next step up, in my opinion, this year. Yep, I was a huge fan of the, the 2022. I love buttering through stuff. Um, still, 
experimenting with this board. It's been absolutely freezing in Michigan. Um, so time on the water is definitely limited. Um, so more videos to come. Give us a like and a follow guys. This has been Dustin and Pat with the all new 2023 Jaime.